Hey guys, Dr. J here, and today we're gonna get into talking about 10,000 steps, and is it really accurate, where did it come from, and should you do it, right? So we've all heard of taking 10,000 steps, really that translates into five to six miles, and you should be doing that every day, right? So where did it come from? It pretty much came in the 1960s from a company in Japan that was making a pedometer, and this pedometer was supposed to, again, track your steps, right? And it came out to the translation or the terminology uh, when you translate it over is 10,000 steps. So they did a little study on it. Long story short is that people who were overweight, it helped body composition, it helped their lifestyle a little bit. Uh, people seemed to slim down a little bit. It wasn't a large study, but they did enough. You know, and then they fast forward to some other studies and you know, it seems to help. But is it really good for you? Um, and here's my take on it. I'm gonna straight up say no uh, for many reasons, but one of the reasons is you're embedded with 10,000 steps for technology. It, anything that ties you down to technology for your health and fitness is, is crazy to think about. You should, like, so for example, if I'm going to the gym today or you're going to the gym today and you end up doing an hour of rowing or you know, an hour of weightlifting and you're building up a good sweat, but you only walk to the gym and you get into the car and you pretty much sleep all day, um, you've probably done more activity than those 10,000 steps. So that's one. So technology is not gonna track everything. Uh, you shouldn't be so embedded in this technology to begin with. Um, and two, I honestly and personally do not think that 10,000 steps is enough. The reason I say that is because that is not going to get you fit. I'm saying 10,000 steps is a good idea to get you there. It's a great way to get from A to B to start chaining up that ladder if you're looking for better help, if you're trying to be more active. Yeah, you should be more active more frequently throughout the day and take intermittent breaks and if you sit for an hour at a computer, you should get up and walk to the bathroom. You should get up and walk to the outside for a little bit. You should definitely get some fresh air. You should definitely move often, but it is not gonna create fitness. It's not gonna create an abundant health. It's not gonna get you to that next level of um, physical achievement because if, for example, somebody who is really fit already is out there, 10,000 steps is probably not going to change their cardiovascular fitness. So moving often throughout the day, like I said before, is awesome. Great, highly recommend it, but don't rely on 10,000 steps to fulfill your fitness is what I'm really saying. Make sure that you're doing other activities. Again, if you're at the low end of your fitness, if you're down here and you're looking for more to get higher and higher and higher, then I'd highly recommend that you guys out there start looking at those 10,000 steps, but don't use it as a barometer of health. Just because you're doing 10,000 steps today doesn't mean you're healthy. It doesn't mean that you've accomplished a lot in terms of overall health. It might mean that you've accomplished a lot from where you're at or from where not being able to walk, um, but at the end of the day, guys, it's not going to really improve your health to a point where you are going to see huge, huge, huge gains. And some people are gonna kind of disagree with me on that, but uh, I'm gonna talk about, like when I talk about health and wealth uh, in, in your fitness, like I'm talking about being fit. I'm talking about being able to run up some stairs uh, and be fairly breathless or be able to go hike a mountain all at once. This long sustained period of activity that you guys need to do, like 20 to 30 minutes at a time, is what the government recommends, right? So if the government recommends 20, 30 minutes at a time and you're only doing, you know, 500 steps, take a 10 minute break, 1,000 steps, 2,000 steps, take a 10 minute break, you know, and then you go back and forth. Yeah, you're increasing your steps, but you're really not getting that duration, that cardiovascular, that muscular endurance component of it. So again, to final thought, 10,000 steps is not the best answer. Um, it just came from a company that created a pedometer in the 1960s. Don't use that as a barometer for your health. Don't use that to measure into. If that's additional on top of where you're already at, great, awesome job. But don't use that as your baseline, all right guys? I'm Dr. Josh Gota. thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys for next episode. Take care.